Hello everyone, it's your boy the Sheriff back again with another commentary video today, and we are talking about the GTA 5 ban. You know, you may be from Illinois, you may not from be Illinois, but just wanting to see what's happening, and hopefully you're not from Florida because, you know, you want to see what dumbass shit is happening that's not in your state, and you're like, let's get it, let's go. But before I get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm coming in 100 subs, pause, and, you know... I'm going to do something special for y'all, you know, for this certain, this milestone that I've never achieved in my entire life before until, you know, I get to 100 subs. So we very appreciate if you can subscribe. And without further ado, without a shoe in a sock or a squirrel in a nut, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. So the House of Representatives is trying to pass this bill that bans people from playing essentially games like GTA and other violent video games. Not just, I could be wrong, okay, they might change this, but just for people under eight, uh, 17, or, you know, just in general, just violent video games, which is, uh, you know, very not good for me and so many other people. Like, not just my age, but adults too, because, you know, a lot of adults play video games as well, bro. So, literally, the thing is that they're trying to ban any video game that invokes any sort of violence. Like, so literally, of course, they're going to ban, you know, games like GTA 5, bro. They're going to freaking ban games like Call of Duty, what else, Battlefield, maybe. Uh, you, you know, games like that, right? And the thing is, is, like, there's so many games. That's freaking Hootie Pop. <laughs> like, full on Hootie Pop, bro. Like, what? That's still not banned. Like, that game should be fucking banned, bro. <laughs> Y'all can look up that game, bro. It's so dumb. It's more dumb than this entire state. But literally thing is, is that these people are trying to relate to these new car tracks that have been happening in Chicago because there was around 290 or 80 something carjackings that happened which was a lot more than 2019 which they were related to it was like two times and like I said there were like around 290 or 280 something carjackings that happened in 2021 in the first month and the fucking government is trying to relate that to you would have never guessed it guys Super Mario, I'm just kidding, it's GTA 5. But literally, they related it to GTA 5. And they be calling us, Oh bro, all the little kids are trying to get inspired off of it. And they're doing carjackings. And I'm like, how do you, like bro, first off, what, how is GTA trying to do that? Okay, if you at least remotely had good parents, you can literally not do any carjackings. You're not inspired to do that shit. Like some of these dumbass parents be freaking raising their kids on GTA 5 and then wondering why they turned out to be a mistake as how, as how they did not want them to be. Like how about you actually be there, okay, for the kid instead of blaming it on GTA 5, you know? Speaking of that, the stupid ass governor, by the way, uh, Bruce Rauner, he be thinking that shit, even though he's been he's been doing so much worse things to this state, bro. Fucking dumbass Bruce Brown over that doo doo ass haircut, bro. Fucking Tim the Tatman built looking ass. Fucking drinks two pints of water, thinking that oh yeah, bro, I'm drunk. Time to do some more stupid shit to the state. Am I right? But literally, man, GTA. Okay, how come there has not been over 20 million carjackings? Because that's how many they have sold. This is from like 2020. I read this from like. I think they've been, I, I'm pretty sure, it might have been around 20 million, it might have been 100 million. I shall go check in a second, because, like, how come there's been not a lot more? This is the third most populated city in Illinois, Chicago. Like, you know, this is, like, it's kind of dumb. Mainly because this year, around, well, I mean, this came from, like, late last year, they've sold over more than 20 million copies of it. So that means more than maybe 20 million people have played the game. How come there has been not 20 million or, you know, 15 million carjackings in Chicago? Like, that's so dumb. Like, it's literally just how the kid is raised or how the certain person is raised. If they're raised in a shit way that their parents weren't there for them, they had no figure, father figure or mother figure, then they will, of course, start doing this. Like, you have to trace it down to, like, just bad parenting. And the thing is, they didn't tell who the culprits, like, who the people that were carjacking were. They, they probably, like, they didn't say if it was an adult, a little kid, because if it was a little kid, it would be, you know, more than just a tiny deal, more than just one, you know, more than just a news article. It would be mainly, you know, talking about the kid itself, not the ban. So that means it must have been older people, okay? And the thing is, if they, if people really kept doing carjacks because of GTA, it must have been a parenting issue, okay? It must have been a freaking social parenting issue. They've never had them around, and then y'all blame the kids, even though it's just a freaking bad parenting. 
Like, I get it. Yes, they were maybe a mistake to you, okay? But, you know, you could have told your, uh, you know, deadbeat husband to literally wear a condo, um, uh, you know, get that BC as well as, you know, just waiting till marriage or tell him to get that pullout game better, right? Like, my guy, bro. I could probably do that shit so much better, man. <laughs> anyway, sorry, not flexing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like, it's just bad parenting, right? You know, a lot, of, a lot of people now have been having unwanted children lately, which could be, you know, maybe another reason why. Like, you know, how, and the thing is, it probably in the end has to do with society, just like, you know, with that other topic. But that's a whole other video topic. It's a whole other, you know, completely different thing. But, and, you know, that's what it is. And these people are just blaming us for shit, even though the government in Illinois, I'm talking about the governor himself, has done even worse things. You can look up what, you know, Bruce Rauner has done, right? Or whoever the governor is, man. But literally, in the end, guys, it's just bad parenting. It's just bad, you know, people that just do these things. It's not the game itself. The game is entertainment. With this logic, then why are you not banning, like, movies, like horror movies or, you know, trying... To ban why are you not trying to ban other movies or literature that is like very violent like why not ban all Stephen King books from like libraries and shit right I mean even if they do steal the book like you could like the thing is kids are smart okay but they have we have technology you can literally just buy it online like what the hell is this gonna do you need to show your ID if you want to buy like GTA 5 or some shit like man it's like those oh my god this reminds me of the you know People at GameStop, every time you're with your mom or dad trying to buy a rated M game, and then they're like, oh, it's, it's rated M because there's a, there's a nutsack destroying, uh, there's shooting, there's neck cracking, there's death, there's fur. They're spilling coffee on his fat lap on his peen. But literally, you know, they, they tell you all the reasons why it's rated M, then they don't buy you it. Like, in the end, it's just a video game. Like, do you really think video games have a big correlation? Nah, it's a parent's. It's a parent's not teaching their kids life lessons. You know, this is what it is. Like, my mom, like, you know, Sons for Presents buys me, you know, violent video games because she knows it's just fun. It's just, you know, because why not? She knows she knows that it's fun for me, but it may not be fun for her, but that doesn't mean it's going to be fun for, you know, me and a lot of other kids or just adults or, you know, whoever else, right? Like, she knows it's just a video game in the end. She's also watched a lot of, you know, other violent-related entertainment things like, like TV shows or movies. It could be whatever, right? Like, that's why she, like, she knows she's not stupid. My dad, on the other hand, he's not like that either. Like, he doesn't really care. He pays attention more to how much he spends rather than what is in the game itself, you know? But otherwise, uh, this overall law might not get passed. You know, this has been at it since, like, eight years ago. Actually, maybe nine, because it was 2012. So, you know, they can literally ban the games. In the end, they can literally just ban GTA or and other games. Like, my guy, the thing is, in I quote... They said they're going to ban any game that incites any sort of violence towards human or animal. When I saw that part, I was like, wait a minute, bro. This might be the, you know, PETA also has the vegan teachers, you know, revenge for banning her off of TikTok and shit. Trying to get back at the meat eaters and whatnot. <laughs> but literally, she's trying to get her revenge. She's, she's trying to go at it, guys. We need to we need to let her stop, you know. She's probably running Bruce Rauner off his money. <laughs> but literally... They can ban Super Mario Brothers. Like, you could squash on a Goomba, even though there's people that do worse, like an Irish dude after his potato farming job, squashing down 20 pints of beer of Guinness in, like on a Friday night. Or maybe, like, literally, some dude just trying to, you know, actually, like, start an entire, like, killing spree, like serial killers. Like, how come there's been no huge silly... Si I said silly Serial killers right lately. Like, Ted Bundy... Do you really think he played GTA? Nah, bro. His fun was actually killing and, right, and like doing all those horrible things to people. Like, that was his fun. He never played GTA. So many other big killers were even not, like, existed way before GTA. So, like, I don't get how all of, how whatever they're doing adds up in the first place. Because they must clearly go back to first grade if they can't add shit up. But, you know, in the end... Uh, GTA is probably not going to get banned because there's not, there's really not stupid people on this planet. I mean, there are stupid people on this planet. I mean, you could, you can go on social media. They're, they're there, they're there, they're there every day. Uh, you know, but definitely not our fan base. Not, definitely not me. We are the best people on this platform right now, you know. 
being fully honest, being, you know, very chillaxed and, like, very descriptive and discussionated about everything. That's totally not a word, but, you know, we can make it one, guys. Petition to make discussionated a word. Um, but that's going to be it for today's commentary. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more commentary. Apex and Minecraft. <laughs>